do your actions match your ambitions? Because a lot of people talk about like, oh. Oh, I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna hit this goal this year, or I'm gonna make this much money this year, or I'm gonna do this, or I'm gonna be a millionaire, yeah. or I'm gonna have this or do that. But do their actions match those ambitions? I mean, we hear it all the time um, with people setting goals, and, and you'll hear someone set a goal, and you're like, hmm, how do you plan? How do you plan on doing that based on what you've done? Because your actions aren't matching your ambitions. And it's a tough conversation to have with people because sometimes it's going to take them modifying their amb ambitions based on what their actions are. That's right. But what I have found is that people find time for what's important in their life. People always find time for what's important in their life. And if fitness is something, your health and fitness, if that's something that's important to you, you'll find the time. The reality is so many of us are wasting 60, 70% of our days. If we truly audited our days and the actual hours that we're going towards income producing activities, we'd be blown away by the three, four, five, six hours we could get back, that we could take back into our life and use more effectively. Like the gym, like you can get to the gym when you're efficient in your day. Far too many people are focused on the results that they can't control, trying to define themselves by results rather than recognizing you can have a vision, you can have goals, but you gotta pull that down and figure out what can I do every single day that causes me to win to achieve the things that we want. If you knew with 100% certainty that making 50 calls a day was gonna to lead to success, how could you possibly do 40? How could you possibly do 45? How could you possibly do 47? Quite frankly, I'd rather you do zero and spend the day with your family. So we create this standard with which we live our life based on the things that we know we need to do to accomplish what we want to accomplish. You can't focus on what the outcome is. You can only focus on what you do, your activity. So you're exactly like right. with, with insurance. That's what we talk to all of our agents about. I can't, I can't, I don't know if what someone's going to say, I can't make sure that every single time they're going to say yes, but I do know those numbers. I do know my conversion ratios. I do know my close ratios. And it, to me, it takes so much stress off of your life. We've all had those days where we have the best of intentions. Uh, we have a goal, you know, goal set out. We've got a plan of our day, and we start out, and it's all going well. Mm -hmm. We're working on a project, and then this little distraction here, this little interruption here, and the next thing you know, you turn around and days gone. completely lost. Yeah, days gone. Completely lost. Yep. And so that's 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 the key is is staying in charge. And what that typically looks like is just taking a step back every now and then, taking a step back and saying, okay, what, what am I doing right now? Literally, like. What am I doing right now? Yep. And how does that relate to what I'm supposed to accomplish today? Because if you just know that, hey, these are the activities that I have to do each day. And if I do those activities, I win, period. It doesn't matter if those activities led to a sale that day, if those activities led to a, a deal that was closed that day. It's just those activities that I know yep. at the end of the year, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, will lead to my success and to me there's it's so it's such a liberating process to go through because from one meeting to the next one appointment to the next one day to the next you're not worried about it because you know that hey i know these are the things that i have to do and if i just do these things i win in dot period